Good afternoon. This is Jazz Up News. I am your host, Bambi Cute. I know, you're laughing and wondering if that is my real name. Yes, it is my real name. What can I say? I have a very unique name. Enough about my name. Let's talk about today's breaking news. What happened when hitchhiking became hijacking? An older man saw a group of chimpanzees hitchhiking and picked him up at Banana Nuts Village. On the way to Mark and Spender, he was pointed by a gun and ordered to stop the car. Then, the chimpanzees forced the man to get out of the vehicle, and one of the chimpanzees took over the driver's seat and zoomed away. The man called the police, and the police quickly located the chimpanzees with a shopping cart full of bananas inside the mark and spender. The police arrested them and took them back to the station. The chimpanzees admitted they took over the vehicle, but they denied the accusation of gun pointing at the man. The police asked the chimpanzees why they stole the man's car. They stated the older man was driving too slow and they would miss the 50% off banana sale at Mark and Spender, so they decided to take matters into their own hands. They stated that they used a banana to point at the man, not a gun. The police searched the stolen vehicle and only found a banana peel, so the police only issued a warning to the chimpanzees. This story suggests banana nuts residents are crazy about bananas, and they would do whatever it takes to get them. To secure banana supplies, they have done boring and creative jobs to bring in stable incomes. Here are some examples. They have very high moral values, so they believe. Thou shalt not steal. Therefore, they borrow. They have borrowed bananas from people. Borrowed trailer rims to sell. And worked hard to borrow something valuable in a locked box to buy bananas. They have kneaded and kneaded the dough washed dishes, scrubbed and scrubbed to perfection. Mirror Mirror on the pot, who is the best dishwasher of them all. Furry Brown. Look at how they move the iron back and forth, back and forth, to ensure no wrinkles. That is not all. The way they cut wood using a handsaw indicates they are an excellent handyman. They offer two different pet packages, the basic and the deluxe. The basic package includes babysitting, grooming, and walking the pet. The deluxe package offers running and pulling the pet to guarantee your pet returns home in one piece and packs with more muscle. They provide Medicare and patient transport. Safety may not be the primary concern, but they make sure to get to the patient quickly to give the patient an illusion of being on the road to recovery. They read a lot to keep their skills up to date. However, they have the skills to deal with ancient and modern technology. If the internet is down, they can continue working with typewriters. If speed is the key, they can quickly type away with computers and close deals with not-so-smart phones. Their objective is to make a lot of money to never run out of bananas. They participate in different competitions including cycling, dog riding and goat riding. Look at the speed. They are good with riding two wheels and four-legged animals. Amazing. Besides riding with two big wheels, they can move with blades and four little wheels, including ice skating and skateboarding. The number of musical instruments they play is enough to build an orchestra. There are a few options when you see them hitchhiking. The first option is not to stop your vehicle and pretend you didn't see them. The second option is to give them a lift and be prepared to get a speeding ticket. The final option is to get out of your car, hand them the key and find a ride home. This is Bambi Cute. See you next time.